South My Representative Tina Wahlberger said she was shocked but not surprised about the corruption charges, adding that cracks are coming in the old boy network. Today she tells us how this kind of corruption affects legislation and gives us an update on the bills moving through the Capitol. Aloha Maui, Tina Wahlberger coming to you today from the rotunda at the Capitol. It's been a wild week here with the abrupt resignation of a colleague who pled guilty to serious bribery charges. And he's not the only one. Another retired senator who happened to represent East Maui has also been charged with taking bribes. Their greed directly prevented progress on the cesspool issue here on Maui. And the fact that corruption was over cesspool legislation just couldn't be a better metaphor highlighting how badly we need accountability in government. The good news is we have several good cesspool upgrade bills passing through our committees right now. Hopefully we can pass something meaningful this year. The legislature is run on deadlines. The triple referral deadline was just this past Wednesday. So any bills that were triple referred, that means they were sent to three different committees, are dead for the session. Some notable missed opportunities include HB 1439, a bill to charge green fees that was part of Maui County Council's bill package, but their Senate companion, SB 2098, is still alive. HB 1504 is a bill to provide paid sick leave, also met its demise. Luckily, its Senate companion is also still alive. And HB 1987, the controversial feral cat bill, that one didn't make it either. Thanks so much. If you want to get involved, please contact my office for information on how to testify from home. Wishing everybody a great Super Bowl weekend. Mahalo.